God bless America. Hello everybody, Talk Radio Protege here with another short video. This time talking about Islamophobia because apparently there's a student in the UK who's being investigated for mocking ISIS and he's being investigated for Islamophobia. Now, real briefly, I think it's important to talk about the word Islamophobia. What we ought to be saying when we say the word Islamophobia, because what people mean when they say Islamophobia is not people that are irrationally afraid of Islam. They mean people that irrationally hate Islam. I don't know if there's a Greek suffix for irrational hate, but phobia is not it. So I wish we could stop using Islamophobia because I don't think a person that mocks the uh, the Islamic State that likes to behead people that mock them is afraid of Islam. But let us look at the statement that the student made that according to the university that is investigating him, put minority students at risk and in a state of panic and fear. What exactly did this student put on Facebook? He wrote, excellent news that the U.S. administration and Trump has ordered an accurate strike on an ISIS network of tunnels in Afghanistan. I'm glad we could bring these barbarians a step closer to collecting their 72 virgins. Now that's a reference to um, the Islamic teaching that if you die in jihad, you instantly go to paradise and you get 72 virgins. Uh, so he, he's talking only about ISIS. He's not talking about Muslims at large. He's not talking about Arabs as a race. He's only talking about the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. And what was the response? Apparently, a student accused Mr. Travers of blatant Islamophobia. Now, Mr. Travers, I skipped over it earlier, but he's the guy that wrote the Facebook post. And es Esme, Esme Alman is now the student that's accused Mr. Travers of Islamophobia. Now, what about Travers' statement is hateful of Islam? It the reference to the 72 virgins is a reference to Islam, but if ISIS has nothing to do with Islam, then how is saying, I'm glad ISIS members are being attacked by the U.S. hateful uh, or uh, fearful of the religion of Islam? I fail to see how we make that connection. Apparently, though, there is a wrinkle in the story where Miss Allman is the real racist and or sexist. Uh, Mr. Travers responded to Miss Allman's accusal of him being Islamophobic by pointing out that Miss Allman had referred to black men as trash and following that up with all men are trash. Apparently, the university is also investigating Miss Allman. <laughs> While then deciding that Mr. Travers needs to be investigated as well. It just goes to show you that the double standard is uncanny and will always make an appearance. That it's all, it's all right, it's simultaneously all right for Esme Allman to defend Islam and call black men garbage. Not human garbage, though. That's just for Anita Sarkeesian to get to do.